Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing my jumbo Bantu knots. If you're interested in finding out how I got this style, just keep watching. So first off, you're gonna need a comb and we're just gonna work on uh, this old hair um, and then we're gonna make a part at the back. You want to make sure it's kind of chunky because we are doing thick bantu knots. And it doesn't have to be perfect, um, but I'll just show you that here. Now I'm splitting that back section into two. And then we're just going to detangle that and then twist that all the way to the end. And make sure you don't put too much tension on your scalp. This is going to help us later on when we add the hair. Repeating these steps on the other side and I'm pretty much going to do this throughout the rest of my head until I'm done You want to make sure you detangle your hair. Uh, this is going to help you with the twisting so that way it won't cause any tangles. You definitely have the freedom to choose any type of parting style you want. I just did traditional blocks. Uh, I wouldn't be in too fancy because I was trying to do the effortless look. So yeah. You can choose whichever type of parting you want. And just working on this last section here, I had to use my larger comb. My hair is a lot thicker in the center and the top of my head. So yeah. And here's the finished uh, twisting look. I had about maybe 11, 12 twists throughout my head. I probably should have did the center a little bit smaller, but it's okay. And now I'm just adding uh, Marley hair. I'm using Cuban Twist Havana hair, and that can be of your choice, the hair, but I'm just gonna braid my twist into there. I like to do one step throughout my head at a time. For instance, you saw I just twisted my whole head. Now I'm going in and adding in the Marley hair to each twist. And then I'm gonna go in and twist the hair into the knots. I just find that it works faster for me this way. Um, that way I can focus on doing one thing and finishing it. And now it is time to twist the Bantu knots. So I made my roots um, without any tension. That way when I wrap the Marley hair around, it won't be so tight on my scalp. So that was the intention for the loose twist. That way we don't create any tension on the scalp. I chose to do this method because rubber bands aren't really my thing. My last Bantu knot video, I used rubber bands and I did not like the takedown process. It took too long and I felt like my hair was getting torn out as I took out the rubber bands. <laughs> so this is the method that I use now. And this is my finished product. This style is very quick and very easy. It probably took me about 30 minutes, which is great. 
<laughs> so, yeah. Let me know what you think. I feel like this style is fierce. I'm going to be wearing this in the spring and the summertime and looking good. Yes. <laughs> so leave any questions or comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.